Steamians, what is up? Dan at Starlight here with another Steam It 101 video. This time I'm gonna talk about your permissions, your passwords, your private keys, and basic security measures that you need to take when you're on Steam It, okay? So here we are on steamit.com. Click on your avatar in the upper right-hand corner. Navigate down the drop-down menu to Wallet. And then over on the left-hand side, you can see that there's two tabs, permissions and passwords that we're gonna talk about today. Balances we talked about in the last video. So click on permissions and it can show you, it shows you your four permissions, right? Your posting, your active, your owner, and your memo. Do not worry about memo, it doesn't really do anything right now. So we're just gonna talk about these three. So these are your permissions. I'm also going to refer to these as your keys, okay? Of which you have a public key and a private key. Okay, and your owner's private key right here uh, is what we refer to as your password. That was your main private key that you got when you signed up for your Steemit account. It's probably the only thing that you've been using to get in and out of your account up till now. Okay, now let's just talk about each of them really quickly. So the posting key allows you to log into your account and post content or vote on content and do most of the, the things that you would do when you're logged in. Now your active key allows you to transfer um, Steam around or funds around. So if you wanted to send some Steam or Steam dollars to Bitrix or if you wanted to power it up, those all require your active key. And um, your active key can also be used for voting on witnesses and also for changing your settings like your avatar. Now your owner's key can do all of those things, okay? It's kind of like your master key. Uh, it can also do a couple other things. It can change your owner key, your owner's key. So it's the only thing that can change your main password. Um, and the other thing that it can do is it can be used to recover your account in case someone got a hold and got into your account, got a hold of your key and got into your account, a hacker or something. The way you could uh, reclaim your account is with your main password or your owner's private key, okay? So now, right now, these are displaying the public keys. In order to see the private keys, you have to go over here and click on these buttons. So this long number right here for your posting key is your public posting key. If you wanna see the private side of that, you click on show private key. Now I'm not gonna do that because I don't want you to see my private key. But when you do that, this big long number of you know letters and numbers over here is going to change from your public key to your private key. When it's displaying your private key, you'll notice over here, instead of saying show private key, it will say hide private key, right? That's how you know it's showing you your private key. So your um, private posting key, what I want you to do is copy that down. Um, you know, just copy and paste it into a Word file or something, someplace where you can easily access, access it because it's what you're gonna use to log in and out of your account on a daily basis, okay? Um, also, if you're going to any of the other social media sites on the Steam blockchain, do not log in with your owner's key, right? You do not want to be exposing that to the internet all over the place. Uh, only log into those with your posting key, your private posting key, okay? It's not really that big a deal if anybody gets a hold of it. The worst that they could do is go into your account and post or vote on something. Now, you don't want that, but it's not like they can steal any of your, your funds, okay? Now your active key, if you wanna see it, you have to go over here on the right and click log in to show. And this is where you're going to have to log in with your owner's key so that you can see your active key. Once you do that, it will change from a public active key, which it's showing you right now, to your private active key. Now you can copy this down, right? Um, this is the key that you're gonna use for, use for moving funds around. So in case you wanna power up again, or you want to send uh, Steam to Bitrix or something like that. Um, so you have to be careful with this key because if people get a hold of it, um, if a hacker gets a hold of it, they can start stealing funds. They won't be able to steal all of your powered up Steam, right? Because they'd have to power that down, but they could get into your account and start using the key to move stuff around, right? So um, be careful of where you store that key, all right? You, I, in, so I would say, you know, don't email that key to somebody, okay? Now your owner's key, this key, which you've already been using, and I'll show you how to change it again, which you might wanna do once um, you get more value in your account, is something that you don't want to ever expose to the internet. You want to keep this offline, okay? And um, 
The only time you should ever really use this key is if you want to change your password or your owner's key and um, or if you need to recover your account. Basically, you want this key stored offline in a couple different places that are safe. All right. So now let's go up and look more at that um, key. So this is your your password. Click on password here or again, your owner's key. Now, again, this is the, the key that you were given when you logged into Steam it for the first time. And you've probably already exposed it a bunch to the internet. So I would say, you know, once you start to get your va some value in your account, consider changing um, uh, to a new password, a new owner's private key. And how you will do that is you'll come here, okay, and you'll put in your current private key, then you'll generate a password, okay? So this will be your new long private key. And um, what I suggest you do is that you don't copy and paste this. You do not take a screenshot of this. You do not email this to anybody. You write it down on a piece of paper. Be very careful, make sure the capital letters look like capital letters. And um, then once you have it written down on a piece of paper, I want you to um, re-enter it into this box here. So I don't want you to copy and paste it from here. I want you to look at the piece of paper that you wrote it down on and re-enter that password here. That way you know for sure that what you wrote down on that piece of paper is correct, okay? Then you can re-enter your password, click these, and update it. Now, that piece of paper now that you have your owner's key written down on, um, that has never really been exposed to the internet other than if someone's looking at your screen right now as you're doing it. Um, and I want you to write that down on another piece of paper. So you have two copies and I want you to keep these in secure places in separate locations. Okay. So if you have a fireproof safe, that'd be a great spot. If your parents have a fireproof safe at their house, get them to keep this number in it. Okay. Because if you ever lose this password, um, you will never get into your account again. Your funds will be gone forever, right? Um, so it's very important to keep this secure and offline so a hacker can't get to it. Um, and again, this isn't the, the first thing that you should be doing when you get on Steemit. Um, this is, first of all, get on Steemit, play around for a while, make some posts, earn a little bit of Steam. But once you see some value um, growing in your account, and you realize the need to secure it, that's when you're gonna to wanna to do this, okay? Because that'll make sure that that um, your funds are as secure as they possibly can be. So um, now why are these uh, passwords so long and with all these letters and, and numbers? And it's very important that you use these generated passwords, right? You don't try to use your own password, which is like a word or something like that. Um, and that is because computers can guess words. Computers can guess short passwords. But when you have a number that is this long with this many different characters in it, even the strongest supercomputers in the world, just randomly guessing numbers will not be able to guess your number. And that is why we're dealing with something called cryptocurrencies, right? Crypto currencies, crypto as in cryptography, as in um, how do you, um, securely store information online so that nobody else can see it. And the way we do that is we hide this information in really, really long numbers that even computers can't guess. So it's very important that you that you use the generated password that you're given here, okay? So I think that's just about it. Again, you can see here Steemit has its rules for resetting your password. Do not lose your password. Do not lose your password. We cannot recover your password. Steemit does not have access to your account. I can't be uh, more clear about this. You're used to using a lot of different websites where if you lose your password, you can email them and they'll email you your password. If you lose your password here, your funds, your account, your money is gone forever. So that's a lesson that you do not wanna learn on your own. You wanna learn that lesson from somebody else telling you in a video, okay, like this one. So that's pretty much it. I think we've covered almost everything I wanted to cover here. So again, basically you have these three keys, right? So think of them as a keychain. You've got your owner's key, which you're not gonna let anybody see. You've got it stored away in two different locations that you know are going to be safe and that are not exposed to the internet. You've got your active key, which is, you're gonna use 
for moving funds around, and you've got your posting key, which is the key that you're going to use every single day for logging into your account or for logging into other accounts, other websites on the Steam blockchain. Okay, um, so that's basically it in a nutshell. If you have any other questions about security or your private keys, leave them in the comments below. That's it for today. Dan at Starlight. Peace out.